Alistair Donkin, speaking to you from my home in the United Kingdom. For over 30 years, I have had the pleasure of directing numerous theatre companies, both in the United Kingdom and the United States. Many of these productions have received awards, the highest award being for a production of the Mikado by the Gilbert and Sullivan Society of Houston, Texas, who were crowned champions at the International Festival of Gilbert and Sullivan in Buxton, England, beating all the UK companies who had entered the championship in the process. In addition to directing in Houston, Los Angeles and San Antonio, I have made many concert tours of the United States with colleagues from the original Doily Cart Opera Company, the company established in 1879 with the sole purpose of presenting the Savoy Operas of Gilbert and Sullivan, but so far have never ventured into Oregon. I've sung in Portland, Maine, but never Portland, Oregon. The opportunity to present a semi-stage production of HMS Pinafore at Merrillhurst University with Justin Smith, with whom I worked in Houston, is a really exciting venture. In addition to directing the production, I will be narrating the evening, explaining the story and telling anecdotes from the original production. To attempt the stage of the opera in around seven days is an exciting challenge for me, for the students involved and for Justin. What is even more exciting is that the design department at the university is also becoming involved with a view to creating and utilising some form of scenic projection to create atmosphere and the setting. HMS Pinafore is one of the jewels of British comic opera and is an ideal introduction to musical theatre for both performers and audiences alike. For budding performers such as those who will be taking part, it is an introduction to movement, characterisation and performance in addition to their undoubted singing abilities. No longer is it enough simply to sing a role. Now you have to be able to act, dance and deliver dialogue. In a typically British way, Pinafore pokes fun at the class system prevalent in England at the end of the 19th century and the absurdity that it produced. Pinafore was so popular that when the Doily Cart Opera Company sailed into New York in November 1879 to sail the stage of the authentic version, they were greeted by over 20 small ships, each with their own version of HMS Pinafore, being played and sung from rival versions playing in New York. Those New York productions were far from the original. One had managed to work in the Hallelujah Chorus from Handel's Messiah. Another had interpolated Queen Victoria and her gilly Mr. Brown into the plot. Yet another had Buttercup, the contralto role, sung by a man. According to reviews at the time, he was full six feet seven inches tall and in his Victorian day dress was a sight to behold. There will be none of that sort of tomfoolery in this production. There are already some areas in the United States where the tradition of presenting Gilbert and Sullivan is alive and well. From Houston to Los Angeles, from New York to Ann Arbor, Michigan, from Seattle to Boston. This production may well be sowing the seeds of another Gilbert and Sullivan performing tradition in Portland and I'm truly delighted to be a part of that possibility.